Valentine's. Thank you so much for joining in today. I have a quick tutorial for you and it is one that is number one on my list because I've had several people ask me how do I insert the pacifier into my stuffed animals and so there are two ways that I do this but today I'm going to show you one of them because I am currently working on an order and uh, it is almost scheduled to be finished and completed and I am up to the step where I have to insert the pacifier inside of this stuffed bunny's mouth and I want to show you how I'm going to do that and so what you are going to get is your pacifier now today I am using a toy okay generally I use real pacifiers uh, let me just grab one here I use real pacifiers but I'm not doing that one today because these I usually uh, will sew in and so today I'm going to do a quick way of doing this so you don't have to sew it all you're going to need scissors you're going to need something uh, to pull like a, a tweezer or a hemostat I have a hemostat today and you are going to use hot glue and so let's get started now this stuffed bunny is super cute by itself and it really doesn't need a pacifier however the pacifier does add the finishing touch to it and before I get started I actually just wanted to show you some of the pieces that are in this ensemble and so this is one of them this is actually going on the outside of the ensemble and who it's from will go right here and if you want to want me to make a tutorial on how to make um, the uh, the personalized ribbon and the bow and so forth just let me know and I will try to get to it I am very backed up on making videos but uh, if you add it to the list as you can if you give it to me I'll add it to the list and as you can see I will get to it all right and I just absolutely love the colors of this ensemble it is that um a coral pink peach kind of color and um, the natural uh, cream is very cute very um, whimsical and very 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 feminine but once again if you would like to know how to make this personalized ribbon just let me know and I will make a tutorial on that okay so let's get started the first thing you want to do is make sure that your hot glue is on um, on pretty much and it is plugged up so it is super hot because this is a situation where you cannot play around here because once the glue touch the fibers you need to make contact of whatever you are going to position this pacifier needs to be in quickly all right so I'm going to clear this area I'm going to uh, bring the uh, hot glue gun over to me so um, we are ready to get started in uh, inserting this pacifier Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is position your stuffed animal on its back, all right, as if you were changing a baby's diaper. Next, next, you want to examine the face. You want to locate the mouth, all right, and you want to take notice of anything extra here, like you see how that uh, string is sewn on here, all right? You want to see where you are going with this pacifier because you're going to be snipping down here. And so you want to make sure that you don't snip the nose or any whiskers or anything that is added to the face of your stuffed animal. You want to make sure that you don't snip it by accident, okay? And so I know that the pacifier is going to go down here underneath this black line. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have the pacifier near you. I'm going to be using this acrylic one and I'm going to be using my scissors. So the first thing you want to do is you want to locate where you are going to be making a little incision. So I'm going to be making an incision just below that black can you see that that black line underneath the nose okay so just right here just a little incision now the incision is going to be small like about that small okay and you're going to make an incision in a, a T or a cross style uh, position so I'm just going to snip here Let's see. I'm going to be snipping here and I'm going to be snipping here okay so I just want to make sure that my finger can fit inside of there okay like so because you don't want to make it too big all right you just want to make it large enough so the pacifier can fit inside of the hole all right now if I look at this I can tell that this is going to be larger than that hole however you can maneuver it because it is a stuffy right so I'm sure if I uh, play with it enough you see how it just kind of goes in there just like so all right now here's what you're going to do 
If you would be using that other pacifier, you would have to pull some of the fibers out. But this particular stuffy don't require that, okay? So I don't need a tweezers. I don't need the hemostat because as you can see, I was able to easily, I was able, I'm sorry guys, my phone is, is crazy today. But uh, as you can see, I was able to get the uh, pacifier inside of the mouth like so. And so what you're going to do now, what you're going to do now is get your hot glue gun. Oh gosh. You're going to get your hot glue gun and you're going to carefully, carefully fill this little hole up and quickly insert the pacifier inside of this hole. Now I'm using a wireless uh, hot glue gun today and so I'm just going to stick the nozzle inside of the hole and just fill it until I see it just filled just a little bit like so. All right, and then I am going to, ooh, I got a little bit of glue there. I don't usually do that. So I'm just going to actually just push that in there out of the way so you don't see that glue mark. And then I'm just going to insert that pacifier like so. I'm going to just apply some pressure to it so it's really in there. And, you know, hot glue, if you uh, let it set for 20 or 30 seconds, you can um, let it go then. All right. And so what's going to happen is that glue, those fibers are going to grab the, um, the pacifier that's inserted inside of here. All right. Now, with the other one, remember I showed you a real pacifier. It has a rubber tip. You don't really want to use hot glue with that one because it will come, you know, break off or will melt that tip. So that's why that one needs to be sewn in. Um, and you do use a combination of glue. It's just not hot glue. And um, But for pretty much you are securing it inside of the, uh, the stuffy with a needle and thread sewn in all together, okay? And that one takes a little bit more time. I wasn't doing that today. Um, and so I think that this is pretty much set. All right, and you can actually feel it because it doesn't move around once it starts to set. And you can actually feel it cooling down if you put your finger around it because it's warm, but then it starts to get cool. And now I know that that pacifier is really in there nice and secure. And you pretty much just uh, let it set for like another two minutes, three minutes or so, and then you are done with inserting the, uh, the pacifier um, to your stuffed animal. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining in on this quick tutorial. But most importantly, thank you so much for your patience in waiting for this tutorial. It was the number one tutorial request on my list and so I thought that I would take the opportunity to make it and as you can see you can use the trinket pacifier from the Dollar Tree or you can use a real pacifier however it, it, you really have to pay attention to the nipple if you are going to use a real pacifier okay and some nipples are a little bit harder and the rubber are different and so you might not want to use hot glue if it is a you know a thinner rubber okay and for something like that I highly recommend you do a sewing and glue combination and you don't use hot glue at um, on that at all all right otherwise you might want to just stick to using the trinket uh, you know pacifiers that you can buy at the Dollar Tree now before I let you guys go I wanted to actually point out something because I get a lot of questions on the fonts that I use these fonts came from Stitchtopia you all know that I absolutely love 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 Stitchtopia it is that Meyer 2 font and I also use the Grace 3 font as well okay and so if you are going to use uh, the font from Stitchtopia please use referral code 2CE73 and I will post a referral code down below with the link to stitchtopia.com's website all right and also I also use the um I want to, you know, I like to give people credit. Um, for this one, I used uh, Joseph's Designs. I believe that this is a um, hopscotch applique. I might be wrong, but whatever. I, if I am wrong, then I'll post the uh, the correct link down below because um, I know I'll have someone ask me for it, and I, um, you know, I have a. Um, you know a hard time sometimes uh, just remembering off the top of my head but I know that this font 
this applique font definitely came from Jolson's Designs, all right? And um, I just wanted to point that out. So guys, you can find me on Instagram now too. I'm also on Instagram. So if you are on Instagram, come check me out at Candia Hainsworth. You can also find me on Facebook at CandiaHainsworth.com. And if you are an embroidery business owner or a hobbyist, you can also find me in the group Embroidery Boss on Facebook. But until then, I'll see you next time.